everyone and welcome to it. Welcome to a day in my life with my iPhone 15 Pro. I wanted to show you guys how my phone works throughout a day, what I use it for, and just talk a little bit about, since it's the newest, the iPhone 15, how it has been battery life-wise. So we will see about that today. Also, hi, I'm Julia. If you guys have never met me before, I make a lot of content about Apple and lifestyle and productivity. So this is like the perfect video because it crosses both of them. I currently have the iPhone 15 Pro in natural titanium, and then I also only have 256 gigabytes of storage, which we'll talk a little bit about later. I bought it on release day. I went into a Verizon store right when they opened and I didn't realize this was the only storage option. So I would have loved to have way more than this, but this is what we're dealing with. But yeah, I'll talk a little bit about later about what I should do about my storage because I'm currently out. <laughs> anyway, so it is 9.50 in the morning. I just woke up. I usually always set an alarm the night before bed. Wake up with an alarm on my phone. I do have the hatch alarm plug, but I haven't set it up. So I need to do that. I also have Apple Home kit Apple home set up and we have lights so our matching uh, lamps on our bedside tables are with our phone so I can click on those each morning and turn them on and then we also can turn them to any color which is kind of fun I definitely want to get more into the Apple home stuff but that's all we have for now I'm almost always playing music off my phone in the mornings just to have some noise I guess because when my husband's gone at work I usually like to have some some type of noise to feel less alone and going on so I always play it off my phone or sometimes I mirror my phone to our TV and play it off our TV and our new sound bar which is really fun. But yeah, those are the uses of my phone so far. And then also something else is I haven't had a charging cord by my nightstand for the last few months. I've been charging my phone during the day when I'm just sitting at my desk. So that means my phone is currently at 25%. So we're gonna plug it in for the day. All right, I have this that charges my laptop too. Then we have my nice handy dandy USB-C charger. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of been in a little inconvenient having to have two different chargers because my husband still has an iPhone what, 14 plus, so it uses lightning. And so when we're in my car, I have to have a lightning and then also now a USB-C cable to be able to turn on Apple CarPlay and plug my phone in. So that's been frustrating, just having to have two different wires for us. Um, it has been nice because obviously I have a few of these for other products, but I don't know. I'm sure in years to come, the switch will be nice, but for now it's been kind of annoying with having everything separated. <laughs> oh yeah, I also just have a a clear phone case on it. Nothing special. I need to find a cute one. Maybe we could do that today. And then my lock screen is this cute little collage of kind of my vision board for the year. My home screen is this, which I actually am selling all of the little app icons and widgets to go with this whole look. If you want to shop that, I'll link it below. Yeah, we're gonna let my phone charge up. Okay, it's about 11.30. My phone has been charging and while I've been doing work, I, a lot of the times during, at least the mornings, I do start during doing work on my MacBook. So that's what I've been doing a lot, but my phone has been mirrored to the TV, playing music on over there. And just kind of throughout the mornings, I am on my phone texting my husband, checking social media every once in a while, but not doing anything super crazy on it so far. It's about 84% right now. It charged super fast this morning and then I unplugged it and so I just remembered to plug it back in but I'm about to go out to lunch so I'm gonna bring it with me and show you guys what I do with it whenever I leave the house Okay, so something I do every day is make a to-do list. And I usually do it on paper, but sometimes I do it on my phone. So I wanted to show you guys how I do it on my phone. If you have an iPhone, you should have this app. It's called Reminders. And that's what I use for my to-do list because you can make a widget on your screen of them. And also you can sync them with your iCloud so it goes across all your devices. So I can see my to-do list on my MacBook or my iPad throughout the day if I'm working on other devices. So you just open up Reminders and I always start a new list so I can make it look cuter <laughs> than the ones that are preset. So I you can change the color. I usually add an emoji. And then you just go ahead and add on your tasks. So you just hit new reminder down at the bottom and then that's where you can type in whatever it is. So we're going to write all my things for the day. So mail out notebooks. Look at the card footage on Instagram. Okay, and then I like to add little emojis on everything because it just makes everything more fun to look at. So that is the list. So when I go to my home screen now, you'll see they all pop up and then it has a number. It says I have seven things to do and I can actually turn them off from here 
So there, I checked off mail out notebooks, but I haven't actually done that, so I'm gonna uncheck it. Or I can click on it and it pulls up the whole list here. So I'm going to click off tidy living room and kitchen because I did do that already. And then it disappears. So that is just super nice. You can also go and add like complete crazy things. So I could add in the time. So lunch at noon, I can add a location. So if we're going to lunch at a specific restaurant, I could add it there. There's just a lot of ways that you can really utilize reminders, which I just love. So now let me show you what it looks like on my MacBook. Wow, see, it's already there. Okay, my MacBook's a mess right now, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. So now they're on my little widget that's on my MacBook screen because you can also widgets on the MacBook screen now. So that's what it looks like. And then obviously, like I said, this also transfers to my iMac and my iPad. So just to love that. It's a bright and beautiful sunny day, so we just stopped and took some photos to kind of test out the camera and show you guys what the camera looks like on the, on the iPhone 15 Pro when you just want to take some everyday photos. Okay, I'm currently using my phone to make a graphic. I love the app Canva. If you guys don't use it, you are missing out because I just made this little graphic linking all of the furniture in our house, so our couch, our bed frame, our fireplace, everything, because I'm doing a Q&A, and on the Q&A, one of you asked about our furniture in our house. So, made that, and now I'm downloading it as a photo so that I can put it on my Instagram story and link it. And then I also have to use this app, it's called Like to Know It, which is what creators use to link Link certain things on their social media. So I'm going to take this photo that I just made. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to create a post with the photo and then I'm going to add the products. So we have our couch. We have this chair, that home and get that. Our bed frame. All right, oh, and our mirror. So now I have everything linked. We're going to add those to the post. I'm going to make a little caption. Sure in our home, simple. All right. I'm going to publish that. All right, just published, and now I'm going to take this link and put it on my Instagram story. Also, my phone is at 61%. I'm not sure if I even actually charged it all the way up to 100%. I don't know. I'm not sure how accurate this video is. <laughs> just because I have such odd charging schedule with my phone, I really want to get one of those um, MagSafe, the things you put on your bedside to have the always-on display at night with the cool little time thing, I kind of forget what it's called. I customized mine, super cute. I kind of want one of those, so maybe we should order one of those today too. <laughs> okay, I found a cute little charging station and a new phone case on Amazon, I'll show you guys. I'm thinking this charging station because it has the standby dock, it charges AirPods and Apple Watch all in one, which is kind of nice. So I can go on my nightstand and then this phone case, it's just a cute beige. I think it'll be really pretty. They're both kind of like this was on sale, it's originally 50, and then they both also have a 20% off coupon, which is kind of interesting. So we are gonna get these. I feel like something that I just like accidentally do without realizing it throughout the day is just getting on TikTok. I would look at my screen time on TikTok, but I'm too scared to do that. Right now, I just realized I was mindless scrolling, watching TikTok while I was finishing cooking dinner, and that's something I'm trying to work out on because I'm like, what value is this really adding to my life, just constantly being on TikTok? Don't get me wrong, sometimes it does. There are things that I learn, but yeah, I don't know, but I did wanna tell you guys a little bit about my storage dilemma. So when I first bought this phone, I didn't realize, I forgot to check the storage before I bought it, and it's 256 gigabytes, Currently full at full capacity. I have to keep deleting random videos off my phone to be able to have room for pictures whenever I'm in the moment and need them. So I recently went on a trip and I was like, oh crap, I need to like take photos for this trip. That's the point of it. So I brought out this old phone that I had before I got this one to take photos on. And then this one also quickly filled up. So I <laughs> don't know what to do. I have extra storage. I pay a lot for extra Apple storage and for extra Google photo storage. I pay a lot. So what I do lately is I transfer all of my photos to be onto Google Photos. I said that weird. <laughs> um, so that I can just keep everything there. But it's like, do I just keep doing that? Do I put all the photos and videos that are on here onto Google Photos and then wipe them all off my phone and just keep doing that over and over and over whenever I run out of storage. Because what, I've had this since September and it's February, so I don't want to have to do it every five-ish months. I don't know. Or do I go to the store and upgrade to a bigger phone with more storage? I don't know. Lots of options here. Let me know what you guys would do. Uh, I just don't know. 
Okay, another use for my phone is the Kindle app. So I usually read on my Kindle or my iPad, but I sometimes like if I'm out in public and I forgot my Kindle, I can go open up the Kindle app and do it off my phone. And I just opened the app and I just realized that it shows me the days that I've read. So like it says right now I'm on a streak because I've read two days in a row. <laughs> but it's actually kind of fun. It's like logging all the days that I got on my Kindle. How many days per month I read. That is so fun. I love numbers and analytics like that. So this is really cool to look through. Yeah, I'm currently reading the Caraval series, if anyone's curious. I also use the Kindle app on my phone to like send the books to my Kindle, if that makes sense. So that's another use. Right now, my phone is at 26% at 4.55 p.m. So I definitely need to charge this thing. This video is making me realize how much I don't do with my life as a work from home worker. <laughs> Not quite interesting, but we're gonna go to my office and I'll show you guys a little bit more about what I do like when I'm actually working working and doing productive things <laughs> with my phone. Hello everyone, welcome to my office. It's a work in progress, but we're getting there. So I have this little stand. It's technically for my iPad, but I like to use it for my phone whenever I'm not on my iPad. I feel like I'm cute. Um, and then I do a lot of my work on my iMac right here just because it's a bigger screen to look at. But this, one of my favorite things ever to do while, okay, I'm noticing that a lot of my day I'm just listening to music. <laughs> I will go on to Spotify because I have Apple Music, but I use Spotify for some of the very niche playlists that I like to listen to. So this one is the Aesthetic Winter Study Session, and I just play that one, and it's just very peaceful when I'm working. So I am on my computer now, and I've decided that I need to change around some of my Etsy listings and move some around, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I thought it'd be fun to take a video and like do the video series of styling these shelves and putting them in their places and everything. But I remembered, I'm at, one, I'm out of storage, and two, I wore this shirt in the last um, video I did for this little office series, so I'd have to change. And, I, and then I just had that's too much work, so I'm not gonna do that. But we got some stuff done, accomplished out here, and it's time to go back inside. Also, not related to iPhone, but, well, kind of, I don't know. Depends on what way you look at it. But I've seen seeing everybody with their Apple Vision Pros and getting those and I just think that they're so cool and I would have totally bought one if we had the money right now, but they are just so cool. Hopefully, maybe someday I'll get to try one out, but I have just been loving everybody's content about it and seeing what types of things people think of to do with it. So cool. You guys have to let me know your thoughts. Okay, so I'm currently editing the video that you're watching right now um, just to see where I'm at and one of my biggest hacks that I like to do with my phone is whenever I'm doing something that I am kind of procrastinating or I know it's gonna take me a while is I will set my phone up as a time lapse and film the time lapse so that it's like keeps me off of my phone and then I have like a cool satisfying time lapse to watch afterwards. Then it's also nice because I post it on my Instagram story but this is one of the things I do so I'm gonna film a little time lapse. <laughs> Okay, I'm heading off to go to my uncle's birthday game night slash cake and ice cream celebration. So I thought I'd show you what happens when I get in the car. I get in, I have my phone, I have my little plug in, and I plug it in, and then... Obviously, CarPlay pops up, and it's gorgeous. I love it. I have my music going. I usually have a podcast or music going, but I have a lot of driving I'm doing tomorrow, so I'm saving all my podcasts, so I'm just gonna listen to music. Also, it charges my phone in the car, so we're at 73% at 7 p.m. That's the update. Sorry, this has not been an accurate battery life depiction at all, because I've been just charging on and off all day, which is basically what I do on a normal day. I just got back home from hanging out with my family. I've had a very chill day, which has been so nice. Sorry has been very eventful. Um, hopefully this vlog has still been interesting and hopefully you're learning a little bit about just my everyday uses for my phone. Honestly, there's not much different with this phone than my one I had before, at least like that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I don't know, I'll do with that information what you will. But day's not over yet. I still need to shower off the day and I actually do use my phone in the shower. Well, not like, okay, I'll, I'll just show you. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, it's a nice day. I was really hoping that the charging station and the new case would come in before I had to post this video so I could show you guys, but it didn't. It's not in yet, so sorry about that. But I'll still link those things below for you guys. That is going to be the end of this video, though, so thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.